ஃபியூஷன் அப்படின்னு எடுத்துனோன்னா த வே தே ஹவ் ட்ரீட்டட் த கிளாசிக்கல் மியூசிக் அண்ட் லைக் டு ஃபியூஸ் வித் வெஸ்டர்ன் ஆர் வாட் எவர் தே காலிட் அதை வந்து அழகாக பண்ணி அதை நல்ல ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் எல்லாமே ஓன் காம்பா இருக்கும் அந்த மாதிரி அந்த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன்லாம் கொடுத்தது வந்து அந்த நைன்டீஸ்லேயே நான் சொல்கிறது நைன்டி சிக்ஸ் நைன்டி செவன்லாம் எக்கச்சக்க ஃபியூஷன் பண்ணி அந்த புது புது விஷயங்கள் அப்போ கொண்டு வந்தேன் அதே மாதிரி இந்த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மியூசிஷியன்ஸோட அசோசியேட் ஆகுது நாட்டக்கார ஒரு கிட்டாரிஸ்ட் அங்கே இந்த அவனோட வச்சு அந்த லெவலுக்கு வேற மாதிரி எப்படி கொண்டு போகலாம் அந்த மாதிரி இது மாதிரி நிறைய எக்கச்சக்கம் சொன்னோம்னா சொல்லிகிட்டே இருக்கலாம் அந்த மாதிரி விஷயங்கள்லாம் நிறையாவா பண்ணிட்டு Carnatic Chills, it's the third part of the trilogy that we had, uh, uh, that we had done at that point of time between 2000 and 2007. So, um, first was our album called Spark, which first came out as Navarasa and then it was renamed as Spark. And then we did Colors of India. And um, the third one was Carnatic Chills. the whole idea of bringing out this is uh, to f- the first and foremost is to bring uh, instrumental music or music per se to the foreground that was the main intention of our uh, doing these concepts music is an expression of joy freedom it is a natural state of freedom we have two pillars raga and thala and we can do anything with that that is our understanding of music and we always felt that carnatic music connects to every generational walks of life and the way of life so uh, to connect carnatic music to some thought process which is about few centuries back we always felt that is not fair to the art form there is so much more it can offer it is so contemporary so present and it is cool it is chill so we thought we should break that uh, entire thought process and bring out new ideas to carnatic music so which was our thought process and the beauty of the system is it gives us that space so we just thought let us do it i used to compose these small melodies and um, i would show it to kumaresh about that he would uh, the one thing about this is yeah Uh, he is my big, biggest fan and biggest supporter and uh, uh, what what should i say and without him i wouldn't have been able to do what i've been doing so he would always say that this is this is something amazing that we have to do something about so when kamaka is a movement of swaras from one position to another how you use it becomes very important so what this art form has given us is that harmony in individual performance harmony in orchestral performance so when you perform as an orchestra it gives you the space to decipher the gamakas as notes that's what happens when you have when you have backing orchestral backing orchestral platform to play your melody so he would take these things and he would tell me why don't we do something like you know bring all these other elements like you know keyboard um you know like uh, bass kit or drum kit and all that and why don't we bring those thing uh, bring, bring all of that together and we'll do a new kind of sound to carnatic music and uh, i sat with my friends and we did the arrangements for it and the sound that we got was wow we were i was so blown away by the kind of sound that we can bring into the musical space so that's how our fuse what a, if you call the fusion journey and that's how it started we would say uh, we would call it as contemporary carnatic music and we are very happy that it created a very very big impact and uh, it has brought in a new thought process in in our musical system so we put together this concert in 2005 um in nardagan sabha nardagan sabha hall so when we put that we 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 are very lucky to get 
gra- great sponsorship for that we actually thank the hindu for uh, for our uh, uh, for the marketing and, and and also the grand support that they gave in marketing this idea of ours and then uh, putting it up in their papers and all that so that's how the concert happened but after the concert happened we were just amazed at the kind of reception that we just got for that uh, concert so we sat down and uh, we thought why don't we release this uh, as an album as the third part of that series so and that's how the carnatic chills happened and the same a uh, set of people uh, mostly the same set of people who did our first two concerts park and colors of india were also uh, involved in uh, uh carnatic chills and a uh, couple of people like ravi chandra kulur uh, and we had uh, manar gudi ishwaran and uh, sv ramani playing the gatam these were the addition to carnatic chills and also no all the others were the same uh, team that we had and then um, this 2007 we did this concert same thing but this time there was someone else to take it to the next level um, that was our uh, grammy living legend ghatam exponent and our uh, you know what we should say our very great friend and mentor we can say and uh, bikku vinayak ram ji who uh, who readily agreed to release the album and along with him my good friend ar rahman also was kind enough to come and release that
செவன் பிளேஸ்ல இருந்து ப்ளே பண்ணுங்க சார் தாக்க 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 தாக்க